Hey YouTube, so I'm here today to show you another one of my projects, and uh, this time it's actually one of my school projects. Uh, I'm taking a really cool course called Internet Embedded Systems, where we bring Ethernet down to a microcontroller and have it serve up web pages to control hardware, and I think it's just the coolest thing. So my hardware is here. Um, basically, I can click a link on the computer, and there's uh, four relays here which will turn on and off depending on which link I click and it will actually tell the browser which relays are on and, and so on. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of this. I'll bring the camera a bit closer so you can see my screen and the hardware at the same time. Alright, so on the screen here I've got the website that's actually hosted by the microcontroller so I can press enter, it'll load up. I've got a little SVG on there. Um, basically I took this SVG off of Wikipedia uh, open it up in Inkscape and convert it to a optimized SVG, which basically removes a bunch of cruft that you don't really need. And then I took it and opened it up in Vim and stripped out even more, so I removed all the metadata tags, a few of the unnecessary XML namespaces, and I got it down to under 500 bytes compressed. So I actually have an image hosted from this microcontroller, which is pretty cool. So as you can see there, I've got a little green LED on, um, and that's uh, one of the relays on the board. So if I click the Relay Off button on the web page here, it'll actually turn off and uh, that's all happening through the uh, through the web interface here which is really cool so I can turn on you know one two three four and in real time there's a, a status section here on the screen which is actually updating along with that so I can turn them off you know one after another along with that there goes uh, total HTTP requests which is how many requests the system has handled since it was turned on and uptime uh, days hours minutes seconds and in the background milliseconds um, it's a really cool project. I'm going to zoom the camera in even closer so that you can see the web page now, um, just to give you a quick idea of how this thing looks. It took a lot of effort um, to get this thing under under 500 bytes per response because that's really small. Um, G-zipping really helps. So I'm going to move the camera up and then you can take a quick look at that. Alright, so I actually managed to get an angle where you can see the, the board here and the and the screen here really clearly. So let me just turn a relay on here. This is a relay zero. There's four relays on this board here. Turn one on and you see the green light there turns on. Um, and the status updates as well. What's really cool is that these relays are like 120 volts, 15 amp capable. So I could theoretically connect a big you know, lamp to this thing and have it turn on and off and, and do the same from another room and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really neat. Uh, you got four relays here. Another interesting thing is it actually has some analog inputs here. Uh, so what might be fun would be to buy some analog temperature sensors, possibly, uh, sample them, and display the room temperature on this website. Kind of interesting, use, useful application. Um, I believe the designer of the TCP IP stack, this is the, the Tux graphics stack, he also has a garage door opener kit, so you can know whether the door is open or closed uh, while you're away from home, which is a really neat idea. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for watching.